Hi comic book fans, welcome to another suddenlycomics.com video. Today I'm going to bring back an old uh, <laughs> series of mine called What's on My Shelf? Yeah, in which I just pick some stuff off my shelf uh, and talk about it. So I've picked a few things off my shelf today. These are stuff that I've acquired, uh, acquired in an auction um, before Christmas. Um, a complete random set of stuff, some of it really, really nice. I'm going to start off with a little 30 pence uh, book. When it came out, it's cost 30 pence. It's called Discovering Comics by the British comic historian Dennis Gifford, sadly no longer with us. This dates from 1973, I think, something like that. This came out in 1973. Uh, 71, um, Discovering Comics by Dennis Gifford. Um, and what it says here is, um, the comic is a familiar sight on every bookstall in the land. No family home is without its collection of battered beanos, no attic or junk shop complete with its pile of tattered eagles. Perhaps comics are too familiar, too common to care about, for only Great Britain is without its learned society of comic strip historians as found in France, a serious magazine devoted to cartoon archaeology, as in Italy, or an Academy of Comic Book Arts, as in America. Which is a pity, because comics were born in England. And here we have, uh, this is um, a fantastic book for um, comic historians like myself, um, as it goes through the history of British comics uh, starting with Ali Sloper, uh, the first recurring comic book character in the world. Here is Ali Sloper in Ali Sloper's Half Holiday. Um, and we get, it's tightly written this, it looks, you know, 30 pence. This is a really, uh, actually quite, a, quite a, um, a good read for um, comic historians. Um, and then we've got some sort of uh, plates in the middle with uh, pictures of some of um, some of the comics um, that uh, Dennis is referring to in this little book. It is a cracker. Um, uh, so uh, there you go. If you can find this for 30p, congratulations. This is in really nice condition. This just came in a lot of com a lot of uh, books in an auction. It was just a throw-in, really, really nice. Uh, next up, complete contrast. Uh, another little book. Uh, this is um, Robin in I Werewolf by Ed Gorman, and this is a sort of uh, illustrated um, book. So it's it's not a typical comic. It has uh, got text and uh, some pictures with it. This is from 1993, I think. Um, yeah, 1993. What's nice about this is it's actually signed by uh, Ed Gorman. Um, where is he? Where's his signature? It's here somewhere. Here it is. Uh, and it's, uh, it says, Best Ed Gorman. So really nice little thing there, um, I werewolf. Right, next up, <laughs> Corbin fans, get ready to be very excited. This is a rare uh, trade paperback uh, from uh, Richard Corbin. Uh, this dates from, again, from 1993. Um, and I never seen this before. Um, this is Tales of the Black Diamond. Look at this Richard Corbin cover here. Um, now, this is completely uh, unopened. It's still got the um, original protective plastic covering on it. Uh, so the question is, do I open this or not? This book, let me tell you, go onto eBay, check this out. Uh, in this, not wrapped like this, but these sell for 70 to a hundred pounds a copy. Um, I can only assume this is fairly low print run. The Corbin fans out there, um, really keen on this. And I have a completely uh, near mint copy 
still in its wrapper. Very tempted to open it. I've had to resist opening this. Um, I do have a buyer at the London Comic Mark who loves his Richard Corbin. So let's see if he wants this one enough to pay 70 to 100 quid for it. Uh, do I want to part with it? I'm not sure I want to part with it, to be honest. Uh, I think I want to keep it. Um, next up, we've got a really, I'd never seen this before either. This is a book called Weird Business by um, Joe Lansdale and Richard Claw, and it's fantastic. It is um, full of um, uh, original uh, comic book art and stories. This has got about, uh, I don't know, 15 or so. Um, yeah, 15 or so different, uh, different stories and um, it's got the table of contents. Yeah, um, fantastic artwork. I don't think these appear anywhere else. Um, all the artwork styles are very different. Uh, I've read about half of this um, so far, really enjoying it. It's all sort of adult stuff and horror mainly. Um, and also what's nice about this is this is signed as well by the uh, both the uh, creators of this book. Um, Joe Lansdale and Richard Claw. Look out for this one on your second-hand book, 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 book shelves because in this condition, signed by the authors, this is worth a fair amount of money too. Right, uh, next up, this is an absolute cracker. Uh, this is one of the reasons I bought the lot that this was in. It came with about 10 other stuff. But I picked this lot of cop books up for 60 quid and uh, the reason I picked it up was because of this. This is called um, The Ultimate Triumph, The Heroic Fantasy of Robert E. Howard. So he created Conan and it is illustrated by Frank Frazetta. It's got a beautiful um, high quality slip case and then inside of it we get the book itself uh, and this is a, a collector's edition um, it is number 186 of 1500 copies so there you go you can see it's numbered uh, also with this we get a nice little bookmark um, which is also numbered so it's got the same number on it, 186, and it lists all the stories from Robert, Robert E. Howard that appear in this book. Um, and it is fantastic. I mean, anybody who likes Frank Frazetta, so you've got the original Robert E. Howard stories with illustrations throughout uh, by Frank Frazetta. Well, that is an absolute beauty. <laughs> it's got gold gold embossed on the top um i mean this is a high quality production um and uh, picking that up in a lot of a lot of uh, books for 60 quid was a bargain uh, if you want to know what this costs go and look on ebay and prepare to be shocked okay right and the final little thing i'm going to show you in this uh this sec this part of my what's on my shelf is probably uh if you did the top 10 uh graphic novels of all time this would definitely be in there probably it would be in the top three it is the classic um art spiegelman's mouse okay i've got a number of copies of this this one came in the same book option um, as the Frank Frazetta. Um, it's not signed, unfortunately, but it is um, a beautiful slipcase version uh, with the two editions separately, not printed together. So Mouse 1 and Mouse 2 in near mint condition. Um, absolutely fantastic. If you have not read Mouse, um, the number one is called my father's my father bleeds history so it is about um jewish 
Jewish uh, experiences in Nazi Germany uh, in the Second World War. Uh, if you haven't read it, you need to read it. It is an absolute classic. Um, the characters are all depicted as mice. And I think the, the, um, I think the Nazis are um, a cat, aren't they? Anyway, some of them, yeah, here we go. We've got a cat, a cat Nazi there. So if you haven't, please do go and read uh, Mouse. It is just a brilliant piece of evocative storytelling with messages that we need to learn uh, for the future. And, you know, uh, look at what's going on currently in uh, in in and around Israel. Um, then, you know, have we learned our lessons? No. Number two is called uh, And Here My Troubles Began. OK, really excellent. Um, you need to you need to find a copy of this, beg, steal or borrow one. Uh, your local library probably has one if you don't want to buy one. Uh, you can, I don't know if you can get it online. I bet you can probably read it online. Um, but yeah, really pleased. Um, I've got three or four copies of this now. Not this, not this edition. This is the first one I've got of these with this uh, slip case with the two editions in it. So there you go. Um, I showed you today on my shelf. I have got a slip case uh, of mouse with two the two editions in it. I showed you the ultimate triumph, um, the heroic fantasy of Robert E. Howard, illustrated by the great Frank Frazetta. I showed you Weird Business um, by edited by uh, Joe Lansdale and Richard Claw. I showed you <laughs> I showed you Tales of the Black Diamond by Richard Corbin. I showed you I Werewolf by Ed Gorman. And I showed you Discovering Comics uh, by Dennis Gifford. There you go. That is what was on my shelf today. Hope you've enjoyed this. See you again soon.